Um, so many um, people, when they uh, are struck with an illness, so let's not just take cancer mm. and the dying process, okay. but say, putting it on a very practical level now, someone has an illness, maybe even a lump in their breast, how are they to deal with that in that moment? I mean, of course, there comes the, 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 the worry, the concern. Of course. Uh, you know, one has to go through that process. You cannot avoid that. Of course. First, not to take it on a psychosomatic level. Mm -hmm. First, whatever illness appears is body. I yeah. have never seen an enlightened person not dying. Mm -hmm. So, everybody with the time falls apart. So. First, you have to look at it as not a psychosomatic in the sense what I have done wrong, etc. So just as an illness. Mm -hmm. Okay. Second, instead of fighting the illness, which means you are creating more tension, you're creating less possibility for your energy system to work, don't accept it, but just see it. Mm -hmm. Not fighting, but not accepting either. Just see it have a relationship to it. But now comes the most important part, the third. And I have explained it on the level of uh, a pain. When you say I have shoulder pain, what precisely are you saying? You are saying that the rest of the body does not have pain. Mm -hmm. So instead of focusing on there where the pain is, which mm -hmm. creates more pain, you focus on that which has not pain. So what I call it is releasing pain through looking at the space around the pain. Now the same is for an illness. Healing can only happen if you have new levels of, let's call it, chi, mm -hmm. energy. Mm -hmm. Now if you have somewhere a limp or whatever problem, a pancreas gland who doesn't function, with focusing on it, you're not going to relax it. It's the, the, the organ mm -hmm. which is ill needs to have the same, in fact, like a dying process, it needs space. Mm -hmm. For example, cancer cells are cells who don't want to die. Cells who don't want to die, they are stick to each other, mm -hmm. then you have a tumor. Mm -hmm. So you have to create space mm -hmm. around it. That's still not a guarantee that it will work. But the only way that you have a chance is be there with it, without accepting, without rejecting, and create space. See that there is more around where the illness is than the illness, because that which is around has a chance to absorb the illness mm -hmm. and therefore to heal. Now, even for leukemia, for things or metastases or mm -hmm. whatever, which you would say, well, it's not a local part, it's in the whole body or uh, diabetes or whatever, mm -hmm. even for this kind of level it helps. I have seen people with heavy uh, um, rheumatism, polyarthritis, and it's all gone. I, can, I see in groups people with heavy tinnitus mm -hmm. and it's gone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's not gone because they are analyzing the illness, mm, mm. they are fighting the illness <coughs> or accepting the illness. It's gone because they see that there is a part which is stronger than the illness. Yeah. And then they have a chance. But that's the same then like <coughs> when you die. You see then that the body would then be the whole illness, if you so want, the mm -hmm. localized illness which mm -hmm. makes you die. Now if you see that the body-mind is just a form like the illness and you create the space, you will die in peace. Right. And that's the same for illnesses. So my emphasis, healing can only happen if you constantly, wherever it is, create space. And the amazing thing is, as more you have this space before you are ill, as bigger is your chance that you will rather easy be able to deal with an illness when it appears. You see, my concept always is, an illness may come totally out of nothing because of the weakness of the body. Nature is not perfect. Mm -hmm. How you deal with the illness mm. depends mm. on your psychological state. Right, right. Wow, that's fascinating. So, um, just to round up, I wanted to see if there's a way, I know you've given some pointers for, for the audience of the show, <clears throat> but could you, say, summarize it in two or three points, linking it back to the dying process? What would you say to people in, in three summarized points 
they, you know, to focus on to help with this dying process. Okay. Stop whatever is there from other people or from yourself, the body, taking it personally, which means against you. Second, have empathy, not only for other people, but also for yourself, and be aware that everything which appears also once has to go. Every form has to move on. That's part of the dying. And third, whatever happens, be aware that the body-mind is a form, but the body-mind is not you. You are always more than that form. Then some people say to me, well, I don't grasp this other part. But of course you do. You have an atmosphere and your feeling of that you are a continuity is this atmosphere. You may have in this atmosphere different feelings, once a little aggression, once a little fear, whatever, but you know this atmosphere you are. And when you focus on that, then you understand, hey, I'm always more than body-mind, and of course, if you see that, you can relax into whatever is more, without that you have to describe what that more is, mm -hmm. God or universe or <laughs> love, or whatever you may name it. Well, thank you. Thank you, Manuel. Thank you. Thank you for watching Conscious TV.